What we want to talk about right now are the hemifield glasses. Now, this is a very kind of unusual version of neurocentric-based training. To explain how this works, I want to start off with just working on basic colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Micah go ahead and do a few range of motion tests for us just to get an idea of how our body's currently functioning. So go ahead and test your neck, range of motion, right and left, and lateral tilts. And we're just gonna get a baseline on how she's feeling. And the first thing that we wanna test after we have a baseline is we wanna see her basic response to different colors. After you do that, test your shoulders for me. Okay. Good. So she's looking pretty good right now. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to try to see how she responds to different colors. If you haven't watched the previous videos on this, one of the things that we're learning in current research is just how much the brain responds to different wavelengths of light. Uh, based off blues, reds, greens, and ambers or yellows, we see different neuronal stimulation occur, and that can change how you move. So we're gonna start off, I'm gonna have her put on a red lens, and as soon as she has that on, we'll let her adapt for maybe five or six seconds, and then she can just go back and retest her range of motion. And what we're looking for is to see, does it improve, does it get worse, or does it not change, just like anything else. All right, and check your shoulder. Okay, so we've got a pretty good improvement from the color red. Now, before we move on to the hemifields, because if you can see a hemifield, it means that we're gonna have colors on one half of each lens uh, with an opposite, a different color on the opposite half. So we can't assume automatically that we know what she needs until we look at some other colors. So we just tested her with reds. So now we're gonna switch to a blue color. And as she's preparing and going through this, I'm gonna go ahead and get a green ready. So we test. Good. All right. Also better than original. So, so far we've done fairly well with both blue and red. Let's go ahead and switch those one more time. Green. Now, overall, green for most people is the most relaxing of colors. It has the least impact on neuronal activity, so we use greens often for pain relief or headaches. Okay, that actually looks really good. Yeah, okay, so comparatively, what she responded best to, I believe, was red and green. All right, so surprisingly, we have a red and green hemifield. Now, this is where things get quite interesting. Because as you look at neurology, what basically happens is that whenever we put a coloration on the outside of one lens, on the inside of the opposite lens, this targets that wavelength of light into one specific hemisphere of the brain. If you remember or don't know, the brain's divided into a right and a left hemisphere. And so we're actually directing different wavelengths of light into the neurons of different hemispheres when we use hemifields. Sometimes this can make a tremendous difference in overall response. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna just have her put these on. See if that's gonna fit you okay. Now, they're super cool looking, number one. That's the most exciting part about the hemifields. But uh, obviously now we're getting a red and a green stimulus. These are going to different uh, portions of her cortex. So with those on, now we'll go ahead and retest. And she's not as good with these particularly in this configuration. You can actually see that she's gotten a little bit worse uh, than how she was previously. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to actually just reverse the lenses. So now we'll move the red to the right side. We had the green uh, on the right side originally. So it's nice that they're reversible, makes it very easy to test. And this is pretty much what I would expect. Is that whenever we find the right combination of colors, we get a nice response from it. Now, whenever you start thinking about the use of hemifields, the thing that I wanna recommend, you can take those off if you want. Uh, the thing that I wanna recommend is, as I said, you want to screen your clients or patients or yourself first with just basic colors. From there, once you've chosen maybe your two best colors, you can then use the hemifield set. And it's simple in terms of personal testing. You start with one color on the right side, test, and then switch it to the opposite side and see what gives you a better result. Generally with hemifields, you're gonna wear them anywhere from 10 minutes to a half hour at a time. And you will generally wear them whenever you're doing other training uh, so that you can solidify some of the results from them. 
We use them often for pain relief. A lot of times, interestingly enough, although it seems con uh, counterintuitive, if you wear them while reading in front of a computer, sometimes it will decrease the stress uh, of screen work uh, considerably for some people. So we start off again 10 minutes to maybe a half hour. We have a few patients, particularly those who have had brain injuries, that will wear these for four to six hours a day simply because it makes them feel so much better. So those are the basics of hemifield uh, testing. Uh, good luck with this. I hope you enjoy them.